Good morning, guys. Hello there. So we're down at the Lower Mainland once again, but this time for a slightly more exciting reason. Super exciting reason. We are on our way to Fraser Way to go and pick up our rental RV that right. they're graciously letting us take for the weekend and try out. We're gonna go and pick up this crazy looking class CRV. You guys will see it in a sec here, but we are so excited to go and try it out and uh, yeah, try something new. Okay, so we just checked into our RV rental here at Fraser Way RV. Thank you, Lucas, for checking us in. And they gave us the Overlander, if you recall that, when we featured it at the Snowbird RV show. Look at this monster rig. We're gonna do a separate tour video on it, which you've probably seen. We're gonna post that. It'll be the previous weekend, but holy moly, this is like a dream class CRV, but we'll show you more when we get to the campsite and get packed in real quick here. Groceries are packed and we're ready to hit the road. It's an F. 550 diesel. I don't even think I've ever drove a diesel truck in my life. So this is quite the upgrade from our little 23DS class CRV we're used to driving around in, but holy moly. Hit the road and get to that wreck site and we'll show you some more. And there's our house back there. It's so funny being a dual cab. I guess we haven't mentioned that in this video yet, but it's a dual cab. So there's a little hole there that you could walk through and get to your RV. I'm so excited. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to get to the rec site and hang out. <laughs> So we've arrived here at our campsite. We're along the Chilliwack River back there and it's yeah. apparently a very popular fishing river because that's what everybody's doing out here is fishing on the river. Yeah, it was so busy on the drive up there. The riverbed was crazy. There's a few campers that are, but there's been vehicles everywhere. So pretty cool spot. It's starting to rain. <laughs> a little bit trickling on us at least, but we're so happy to be out with this new RV at least. Yeah. Holy moly, F550 diesel power stroke. That thing was crazy to drive, so that was super fun and it was so comfortable and quiet. Our RV having the engine in the front is usually pretty loud and we can actually yeah. have a regular vehicle conversation. <laughs> and the seats like hug your back. Oh, it was so nice. Yeah, it's luxury for sure. Yeah, but we're all settled in now. We've got our slide out and everything. And well, we're going to sit outside, but now that it's raining, maybe yeah. not quite yet. <laughs> yeah, we're here for two nights. We've got two nights of camping in this beauty, so we're going to take advantage of that. And holy moly, let us give you a little walk around of the inside real quick here too. It's awesome. Okay, so this is home sweet home. I mean, you guys would have already seen the full walkthrough, but in case you missed it, we'll give you a quick little walk through here. So we've got our bed over the dual cab. So that's kind of a perk of this model is your bed is over top of the cab and it's big enough to be a full size bed because you got the crew cab down there. Is that what it's called? Dual cab? Crew cab's good. Crew cab. All right. Well, that's there. And then you've got this like little hole that you could walk through if you were small enough. Or, or you had little ones in the back seat, perhaps. Exactly. Then we've got our cool dinette. And like, wow. look at even the finishes on this. Like, it's so pretty. This is like a luxury hotel in the forest. Then a sofa. And above here, you've got like this bunk bed that you could use for kids. Oh. And it just pops down. Press of a button. That is so cool. Dang. Are you gonna sleep up there tonight? Yeah. I mean, are you probably wait, wait, wait. Check the weight limit. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's qualified for someone of my weight, but maybe I don't need to jump up here at the moment. But dang, <laughs> how cool is that? You're with your kid, just pop this up. The table drops down as well, of course, but 
if you only have one kid with you at least, how much easier is this? You could still actually have your dinette to use. And it's right over these massive windows. It's on both sides, the dinette as well, of course, but look how big they are. And if you'll notice, there's no screen for giving you that little bit of a kind of hard to see through visibility because you can either pull the screen down here and have your bug screen or from the bottom side, you can pull up your shade and click that in. So you can have it either or. I think technically you could have it halfway up, click it here and then meet your screen here if you wanted that little bit of extra privacy if someone was camping right next door to you. But how awesome is that? That if you're only gonna use say one of the other windows in here, you can actually have all of this to see your campsite too. It's beautiful. Yeah, and then of course the kitchen area, which is also very, very nice. I got a really nice faucet there and I really love this backsplash and like accent that they have here. It's like, um, I don't know, like a textured kind of metal look to it. Industrial vibe. Looks really cool. And then the same countertops here and then this really nice range and oven and oh my gosh, I am just in love wow. with this place. Oh, and then, okay, this is turning into like a full blown tour at this point. Yeah, dang. Just but so much. Full wardrobe here. How cool is that? And then dun, 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 dun. the bathroom. So this is like a really nice bathroom as well. Yeah, Got yeah. All Show them stuff. the bathroom screen. Show them the bathroom door screen. I've never seen it before. What? Look at this. Instead of having a big old like ugly curtain or something in the way. Whoa. Wow. Click. Another stainless steel faucet there. And now check out the power hub over here too. <laughs> okay, this is really a full Basically tour. a tour. But dang, ours, we had the little Moto Master meter to show the volts. You can check all of your batteries and stuff on here. We're at 12.6 volts, so still fully charged from pulling in. But it actually displays it instead of saying one thirds, two thirds full. Bluetooth speakers that run through the whole place so you can pair your phone. We had music going when we made a quick bite to eat. Dang. Oh yeah, and generator. It's got the same generator as our RV, he said, but because the truck's a diesel, the generator runs on your propane, and he said that it actually runs way quieter too. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we should just fire it up real quick. Sure, try it out. Let's try it out. We haven't even done this yet, so this will be the first start, so let's see how quick she is. Prime. Whoa, that was like instant. That's pretty quiet. A little bit quieter than yeah, ours at least. Yeah, maybe a little bit quieter, but not too much. Dang, that still started pretty quick, hey? And propane, so again, propane's pretty cheap to fill up. That's a bonus. This is a great rig. It's literally like having a luxury hotel, no matter where you take it in the forest. Even if you went to one of our other like favorite boondocking sites or something, we're in a paid recreation site right now, but you can find so many options with this. It even has a little solar panel on top. So if it was sunny out, you get a little bit of that trickle charge. So instead of losing a bit of battery, you gain your battery. This thing is honestly awesome. And you can rent it too. So, I mean, again, if you want to experience Canada, you want to come out to BC, maybe do a little loop, go to the Rockies even from BC. This thing's pretty sweet in my opinion to check it out. Dang. Oh, Alicia, remember your oven? I Alicia. said that. Oh, did you? Okay, never mind. But wait, Luke just discovered something new. Okay, so there's a bug screen here in your skylight above the bed. Perhaps you're doing a little stargazing at night and you're like, I want a better view. Open your bug screen. Okay, makes sense. And then there's this little pulley here. It's got leverage, so it's super easy to use. But you just pull it down, slides along the track. Wow, your sunroof pops open. I'm like, look at this. I mean... I could actually get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just had a lovely little game of crib. Beat Alicia. We don't know who counts first. I had the crib, but I didn't get to the crib, so. If I counted first, I would have skunked her. Otherwise, she just got across the skunk line. So, another good game of crib. Classic Luke winning. And now we're gonna get into some dinner here. Because it's not actually our RV, and we're just taking up for a little weekend trip here, we didn't want to buy too many condiments. So we've pre-planned a few meals. 
Alicia's gonna whip it up with this here and we're gonna see what we can get up to with a nice easy RV meal. We're also keeping groceries and the kind of required stuff on the minimal end. So let's get into dinner. All right, so for dinner tonight, like Luke said, we're trying to keep it very simple with our limited ingredients and spices and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, and we're actually trying to keep it low dishes as well. That's kind of a hack that we learned while RVing is the less dishes you use, the less cleanup you have to do, and it's awesome. So we're making like a one pot kind of meal and it's kind of something I invented, I guess. I don't really know. I saw this recipe for this one pot rice and chicken and broccoli and cheese the casserole but you don't bake it it's just in the pot but I thought I'd change it up and so we're instead of adding broccoli and cheese we're going to be adding spinach and feta so it'll be like a spinach feta chicken rice goulash <laughs> <laughs> anyways let's get started here so I'm just gonna cook the onions and then we actually we cheated. We got pre-cooked chicken breast here from Walmart. Um, we didn't want to have to like bring home a bunch of chicken in like the car on the big drive home. It's like a four hour drive. So we just thought we'd get like a single dinner worth of pre-cooked chicken, make it easy on ourselves. And it was cheaper. Well, yeah, and it was cheaper, not like for what you get, but cheaper than buying like six whole chicken breasts that we weren't going to use on this trip. So anyways, pre-cooked chicken, and then, yeah, we got our rice, chicken broth, we got the cream of chicken soup that's gonna kind of like make the sauce and make it creamy and I could have made like one with a roux and flour and all that kind of stuff, but again, very simple, low ingredients, we love it. Then we got feta and oh, I have thawed our spinach, this is just some frozen spinach that I thawed and we'll add this to the dish. So we're pretty good. Yum. So, a little unconventional here. Apparently there's no measuring cups in here, which I didn't even think about, honestly. So, we're measuring in a glass cup to hopefully at least get the ratios right on the rice, because that's kind of important. So, here's the hope and this works out. Yeah, so when you pick up an RV from Fraser Way, they actually have the option that you can get the bedding included and dishes and cutlery and all that kind of stuff if you choose to as well. So. We were lucky enough they included all of that for us, so we have pots, pans, knives, silverware, all that kind of stuff. At least you just couldn't find measuring cups, so they're likely not here unless they're hiding in a drawer somewhere, but still. If you're doing a little weekend trip or you're coming down and you don't want to worry about packing pots and pans, I mean, we just brought a suitcase, kind of like going on vacation and showed up ready to roll, so I couldn't imagine bringing your own frying pan, pots, and all that kind of stuff, so that's super convenient as well, at least. Okay, so... I added the rice and also um, some chicken stock to cook it in and then the recipe also says to add the cream of chicken soup now. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Boop. Okay, I'm a little <laughs> worried that this pot is going to be a little too small. Hopefully there's no boiling over happening here, but... Nope. Alright, well, anyways, we're going to let this boil and then come to a simmer and cover and cook like normal rice and then we'll come back and add the rest of it. Alrighty, so our rice is all cooked and looking all creamy and yummy. So literally all I'm going to do is add the spinach and some feta cheese. Literally one of the easiest dinners I've ever made and it smells delicious so I'm sure it's going to taste delicious too. I don't really know how much feta to add but a lot. Might as well. <laughs> now we'll just warm this up quick and it'll be ready to go. When we were trying to think about meals to have in the RV too, we were thinking we wanted to have warm meals. It's supposed to be, it was like 12 degrees is a high today, it's supposed to get down to 5 degrees Celsius tonight. But where we came from back in Salmon Arm, last weekend we actually got a bit of snow in Salmon Arm and we hit a low of minus 8 when some arctic winds were coming through and cooling it off overnight. Minus eight Celsius already. This is so early. I mean, we're just about in November here now, but way too cold too early. So this warm, hearty meal is gonna be good. Mm. Delish. More feta. More feta. Hey, we bought it for the trip. Might as well go big. All right. So 
We need Luke's taste test. It wouldn't be official without it. My taste test makes your delicious meals official? Yeah. Wow, I feel honored. Oh, well, let's so that's what it looks like. Ooh. It's very green. Healthy. Mm -hmm. mm. Scalding hot. So I'm going to burn myself for your eating at home viewing pleasure. Not even a blow on it. Mm -hmm. Really hot. Yeah, it's good though. Creamy. Nice and hearty. A little bit of rice to make you full. But it's going to be so good on a nice cooler day. So... We're going to eat this up and then I think we'll go from there. We've now got some shows to watch on the tablet, downloaded a few Netflix movies, and we're going to call her a night here I think. I'm curious if we're going to be able to see stars once the lights are off through the skylight here because I think it cleared off all the little bit of overcast rain clouds we had today so kind of hoping we can see stars tonight out that little skylight as well but keep you posted in the morning at least. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright, good morning everybody. So, we just woke up and we're looking out those amazing windows and check out what we just seen though. So cool. Of course, as soon as I come outside, they start being a little bit more elusive, but they're a blue and black bird with a little mohawk on the top and they're stellar jays, which are actually the official province of BC bird. I don't ever see them up in the interior, and we seen one when we were on Vancouver Island at least. He wouldn't get on my camera then either, so maybe they're just a little sneaky, but they were hopping between all the trees here. There must be at least five of them around, and they're so cool looking. Pretty fun little sight to see when you wake up in the morning looking out the window, and I guess these big windows sure help that part out a little bit, but wow. Clear blue sky day, lovely fall colors, Ah, this has been a great camping trip so far. We're having so much fun. Loving it. It's like a brand new flavor, I've never seen it before. It's called roasted banana and almond, I think. I don't know, it sounds delicious, looks good. It has like quinoa and flax and all that kind of stuff in it too. So it should be pretty good. And the muffin and a view of the river. It doesn't get much better than this, so. So good. beautiful is fall camping in Canada here, hey? The river's so clear and beautiful. There's still some fall leaves in the air. We just got our toque on even because it's a little chilly out today, but man, this is a pretty nice camping spot on the river. I really enjoy it here. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, it's a little unfortunate that the camp, like the camp sites are right beside each other. Yeah. There's no like trees or anything in the way, but. Yeah, compared to our boondocking and finding a bit more like in the forest camping normally we usually have a bit of trees in between of course like we said right now we're a bit lined up we have people on both sides of us now so it's a bit harder to want to actually like get out and sit at your picnic table when you have neighbors watching you there the whole time but with all this forest around to walk around and we figured it was a good time to get out and take a little nature walk at least it's just so scenic and beautiful and i mean when it's not raining or drizzly down here in the lower mainland let's take advantage of this beautiful weather it's really nice we were just walking down the river here and I noticed out of the corner of my eye some like salmon fins out of the water and then I looked over and there's like three or four or five or something different salmon just like swimming around in this one little pond area and like their fins are splashing up and that's crazy they're big yeah it's like near the tail end of salmon spawning season I think right now 
But for those of you that don't know, every fall, all the salmon actually run up the rivers and go to their spawning grounds and they all lay their eggs in the rocks here. So it's oh, kind of cool to right see here. them spawn. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. one sec. Oh, he just oh. ran away. So after that nice little walk around, we stopped by the camp post. It's $10 for a bundle of firewood, so we picked that up and it was like, honestly a huge bundle of firewood. It's probably double the size of a normal provincial park one here in BC. So big campfire coming up tonight, but after watching the salmon, we are a little chilled. So we're gonna have a soup and sandwich lunch and get that cooking. All right, so it's starting to get a little bit dark out here now actually, or the sun's slowly going down at least, but look at this bundle of firewood I alluded to earlier. Wow. That's gotta be like double the provincial parks amount, hey, for $10. I love this campground. We didn't mention it yesterday, but it's called Thurston Meadows. So beautiful, right on the river, salmon running, fall colors, great campground. It's so nice here, but I'm gonna get the kindling started here now, get that prepared so I don't gotta cut it in the dark for it's a bit more risky, and then it should be campfire time. So we're all packed up, slides in, and unfortunately today is the day we have to go return the Overlander back to Fraser Way RV. We have a few little errands, we gotta go find a Sani station and drive around this big F550 diesel a bit more, but man, what a fun weekend this thing was. We love this Overlander. So if you ever think about renting from Fraser Way RV and if the Overlander is available, it was so fun, honestly. It was like a little luxury house on wheels. But with that being said, we're gonna hit the road here and. Let's get driving this big girl. And just like that, friends, we're back at Fraser Way RV Abbotsford location to drop off the Overlander. We had a lot of fun with it though, it was a great weekend. And it was really yeah. fun trying out something new. We've only really had our 23 foot class C, so mm -hmm. we've never really experienced anything different, like driving around and living in and stuff like that. So it was really fun. Yeah, it was super fun. Mm -hmm. Fun rig, beautiful to get the experience. And I mean, we visited it in the RV show last year in the Snowbird RV show and it was like, what a dream we thought it would be yeah. to ever like get to use the Overlander. So to actually, be one year in the future and have Fraser Way reach out to us and let us use it. We are so grateful to Fraser Way. So be sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video. Hit like to give a big thank you show on Fraser Way that you appreciate us getting this opportunity. Thank you all for tuning into the video as always, of course. And otherwise, we'll see you soon enough where we'll be doing another video with Fraser Way actually, and they're gonna give us another RV to try out as well. So yeah. after this tour in this vlog, it'll be another Fraser Way vehicle to try out. So. We're really excited to share that as well, but until next time there, friends, take care. See ya. Bye.